this is going to be a pretty unedited, off the script kind of thing. So I am Katie Slaughter, wedding planner by night, engineer by day. I usually mess up my intros, but I usually edit that out. So uh, we're just going to keep rolling along though. I'm actually going to be reading this book. We had already started to read it, but I um, decided that this was worthy of reading on my channel. So we're going to start with the log and just read along and I'm gonna just enjoy it so I don't want to read the entire back because I feel like it kind of gives some things away and I'd rather we just be surprised and just be along for the ride so this is again Megan Quinn's bridesmaid for her all right let's go so prologue Maggie you're breathing down my neck no I'm not <laughs> yes you are I gesture to my neck where he's hovering while we peer out towards the restaurant from the bar. There is breath on my neck that's forming a dewy condensation and hopefully it is giving me the ick. I turn towards the worst human I've ever met and look him dead in the eye. You're giving me the ick. He glares at me for a moment, those dark brown eyes like spotlights examining every inch of me. The spinach that's been stuck between your teeth for the last hour and a half has been giving me the ick. He says. I let out a horrified gasp before I rub my finger over the teeth frantically. Where? Did I get it? I bare my teeth at him and he throws his head back and laughs before shaking his head. Jesus, you're too easy. And this is why I can't stand this man. I smooth my tongue over my teeth just for good measure before I say, I hate you so much. He grins and most annoying grin ever presented by another human being. Not as much as I hate you. <laughs> and that, in a nutshell, sums up my relationship with Brody McFadden. The bane of my existence, my current nightmare. And my brother's best friend. I would like to say that it wasn't always like this, the disgust between us. Honestly, I don't know. My brother, who is seven years older than me, met Brody in college. They were in a fraternity together. Sigma Phi Delta, let's go, said an annoying bro voice. Oh, let me try that again. Sigma Delta Phi, let's go, said an annoying bro voice. <laughs> yeah, I'm gagging too. I met Brody when they graduated and he'd simply been my brother's best friend. Not anymore. My brother Gary was best known in his brohood college days for jumping off the frat house roof and into the pool, breaking his leg in three, three places. <laughs> A vastly unintelligent move, but he got high fives from everyone, so clearly a winning decision. And then there's Brody. He's been known for making out with 232 women throughout his college career. He kept count. I know this because he's told me. Twice. Can we just say, oosh? The pair of idiot brohards formed a bond over the Chicago Rebels, a baseball team they love so much that to this day they will cry like itty bitty babies if their cherished team loses in the playoffs. I've seen it. It's unflattering and uncomfortable to witness. Gary's face will turn a dangerous shade of red while Brody will sniffle over and over and over. Just blow your nose, dude. We're all, we all know you're crying. And of course, because they're not responsible in the slightest, instead of applying for jobs right out of college, they spent the summer visiting every ballpark in America and putting together a detailed list of which one serves the best hot dog. Mood. Um, <laughs> they created a website for the entire endeavor and last I checked, they've only had a little over 1,000 visitors. So, time well spent. Really went viral with that idea. So, why do I hate him? Great question. Because the night Gary and his now wife Patricia, bless her soul for putting up with my brother, got married, I became woman 233. Eh, well, probably more than that, but you get the idea. I fell victim to Brody McFadden makeout session, and it wasn't just some kissing. Oh no, there was groping. Puffing, grunting, smacking lips. He felt my boob. I touched his erection. Cupped it, actually. Sometimes I can feel him in the palm of my hand. There was girth, damn it. It's infuriating. But what's more infuriating than the imprint of Brody McFadden's large wiener on my hand is the fact that he gave me the best and most passionate kiss I'd ever experienced in my 23 years of life. 
all the practice he had in college turned him into the master of mouths, the conqueror of caresses, the sultan of salacious tongues. I felt that kiss all the way down to my champagne tape paint pit 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 pit. All right. I felt that kiss all the way to my champagne painted toes that night. He owned me with his mouth, dragging me to a vortex of his caramel hot bed. I was useless, played like a fiddle by his large hands and his masterful flip walking, pressed up against a wall, living out every romantic heart's fantasy as the most attractive, tuxedo clad man in the room devoured me with one simple slip of his lips over mine. It was a dream. Fantasy turned reality, and right as he cut my breast over the burgundy chiffon of my dress, he lightly pinched my nipple. <laughs> he lightly pinched my nipple, releasing the most feral sound I've ever produced. The man sounded like angels above to me. Or, the moan sounded like angels above to me, but to him? But to him? apparently acted like a wet blanket, suffocating his monstrous erection and turning it into a shriveled up bean pod. He pulled away so fast that a string of saliva dangled between us before hitting me in the chin. And then I'll never, ever forget this part. It was utterly humiliating, degrading, flat out freaking rude. Looking me square in the eyes, my hazel to his deep brown, he wiped the back of his hand over his mouth. But yeah wiped it off in front of me as if disposing a layer of lust we created to avoid catching infection. What did he expect, cholera? Then, without a word, just a snarl on his lips, he turned away and bolted, leaving me aroused, confused, and sexually annoyed at my brother's wedding. Yep, let's hear it. Go ahead, let in the booze. Send in your curses in his direction. Any hate mail can be addressed to Brody McFadden, 233 Locked Lipped Loser Lane. You're allowed to hate him. I actually hope that you do. I plead that you do. So after hearing all of that, you must be wondering, why am I letting this Henry Cavill lookalike, Chim Dimple and all, breathe heavily on my neck after he teased me with his tongue and then left me unsatisfied? Well, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Sometimes, we're dealt cards in our life that are harder to shuffle through than expected. And sometimes, you're stuck on a small Polynesian island with no other option than to pretend that the person you hate most in the entire world is actually your boyfriend. Alright, well that, that was the prologue. <laughs> Let me know if you want more of that because, um, it's a delight to read things aloud. I, I really enjoy this. Um, and with that, I, um, I do have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below. It's not at all relevant to this, but if you're interested and you're planning your wedding, that might be helpful. Anyway, if you, if you, uh, enjoy this video, maybe like some of my other wedding drama videos, I'll put them over here. Um, boop that like button, you know, give that little subscribe a sweet embrace or something, cause, um, and join the Otter family. Um, and let me know if you like this content, but, uh, always, as always, keep it PG for me, okay?